Hello, uh, I'm Andras Tori. I come from a startup called Zemanta from a neighboring country of Slovenia. We've been in this uh, internet uh, whirlpool and being thrown around by internet currents for the last five years, but I'll explain at the end what we exactly do. Today I'd like to talk about content, especially about augmenting content. Where do I need to point this? No? Okay, awesome. And when you're, you're talking about the content, in internet sense, you're usually talking about content marketing because you might have a great technology, but the best technology in the world without marketing is worthless in terms of business, of course. And when you're creating content, you're creating it to market your product, your company, yourself. And when uh, people, when Marketeers were asked what are the biggest challenges in creating content. The two biggest ones were creating engaging content and creating enough content. Those two are the ones we're going to talk about today. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk about how to get budget to create content because that would take us a whole day. And it's really simple creating engaging content. It needs to deliver value continuously. It needs to attract attention and keep it. And it, gets, it has to get reader ask for more. And that goes for any content before internet. Nothing new, right? Continuously deliver content every morning, every week. It has to be continuous. It has to attract attention, and it, it has to keep attention. At the same time, it has to get readers or viewers get back and ask for more. And again, this goes for any content. But internet offers many, many new opportunities. And the content on the internet is a bit more complicated beast. There are multiple kinds of content. There is content that you create on your own site, on your web page, on your blog, uh, which you have perfect control of. You can exactly set what is there, who you allow to be there, what, what it does. On the other hand, you have social media channels, which you can use to generate interest, attract new, new audiences, and create activity around your content, usually there. And of course, as we heard in the previous speech, real life has to somehow connect and reflect your content on the web, or vice versa, usually. Um, going into social media, social media is great. Social media is awesome. But at the same time, it's also fickle. People follow you, like you, retweet you. Today, they pin you. But then, in a year, they maybe forget about you. Or the landlord, so the big social site, kind of change the rules of how you can market your content. Maybe, maybe it also kind of goes away, you know? If you spent like five years ago, big marketing, uh, big strategy around your brand on MySpace, today it's not that useful anymore. It would be better if you actually created your own destination. And your own destination has to have a few properties. It shouldn't be the same all the time, every time a customer, a possible customer, somebody interested in your product, your company comes there, it should be something new. It should be fresh. It should be continuously relevant to what's happening out in the world. It needs to cater to your specific target audience. It, you cannot just uh, post the same thing about your, your brand or your product all the time. You need to connect it with your audience. And most importantly, and this is what we don't hear enough about, it should not be an island. It should be connected to other people, but not just people, even maybe companies, not, not competitors usually, if possible, but maybe some, some other uh, content out there. Because the users, when they browse to your web page or your web app, usually that's not the last thing they're going to do in their day. They go to the next thing in the next minute. And it's better for you to deliver them that value than somebody else. And let's concentrate first on how to publish regularly. I was asked to sprinkle around a bit of case studies, a bit of advice of how to continuously create this good content for your destination site. And of course, you need to create an identity first, something that will express your brand, your company, your product to the audiences. And it's best probably for you, an entrepreneur, a marketeer to start writing that content, to start to give it kind of a voice, a seed. But usually co writing content is a tough job, as every writer will tell you. And you have many, many responsibilities. You want to eventually kind of 
hand it off to somebody else. You can, uh, of course, hire somebody inside your company, or you can use some of those great new services that allow you to get into contact with people that professionally create content for web pages, uh, specified by you on what topic and in what style. Uh, I point out Contently and Text Broker as two options you have uh, to do that. And as I said, don't be an island. Uh, help others, help others create content. You can publish a guest blog post on somebody else's blog or somebody else's site, and you can get others to publish on your site. This way, the others, somebody that's complementary to your product, to your company, will get a bit of your audience, and you will get somebody else's audience or fame. And very importantly, if there's one thing how to create content regularly, have an editorial calendar. So then where to get ideas? Uh, it's really hard because you want to create your own identity, but don't try to be perfect. You will never be able to produce enough content if you will rewrite every sentence five million times. You, you should be content with well enough, good enough. And never be afraid to simply join the conversation. Um, Facebook bought Instagram. What does your company think about this move? How does it reflect your, uh, your business environment? Just write about it. And research, get inspired, and curate other people's content in a smart way. There are two tools, Blogspire and Percolate. I'd like to point out Blogspire is from my company, where we uh, basically deliver daily news about the topic that you can directly go and start uh, reflecting on. Going further, you need to connect and relate. You shouldn't be selfish. You should tell your readers who your sources are, who inspires you. Because we know you are not uh, Leonardo da Vinci, you are not uh, Paolo Coelho. You need to say, hey, I saw this in this book, I saw that on that blog, and tell your readers. Yes, your readers might go off to that blog, but they will know that you're the guy that will always give them a great content or a great lead. And Connect to other brands that inspire you. Simply think what's good for your readers, for your audience, for your customers, not what you really as a brand need to say right now. So just a case study. So we had a blogger uh, called Blogging Your Passion, and he was constantly blogging in his niche and linking out to big sites, big guys, that usually don't care about smaller ones. But Eventually, the life hacker site noticed, and they said, hey, this guy's right, continuously basically sending traffic and linking to us, and they took notice, one of their bloggers, and linked back to the one qu very high quality blog he wrote, and instantly, he got 5,000 views. And this can be, this is one of the uh, strategies that you can use uh, to gain views. Also, be vivid. Uh, use images, use videos, of course. If nothing else, like, like in my slides at the beginning, put on nice cats and dogs. Uh, just kind of uh, make it vivid. Of course, go for interaction, integrate social media, polls, vo voting, and so on. But you still need to have something that will bring people there, not just uh, kind of user-generated content. Usually that's not enough. You need to be creating content. And make sure, of course, you have your feedback channel. If you use web services and you sign up, you usually get an email, uh, hey, thank you for signing up. We're really pleased to have a new user. And the from, the address it's being sent from, will be no reply at companyname.com. What, the, what will that person think about your company? You don't want to hear from him? In our company, we send those emails from, uh, from yes, reply, please, at zamanta.com. And it was a great move. We got lots of retweets when we did that. Going further, some people say images are expensive, but stock photography really isn't that expensive. It's affordable. And it really counts. It really increases the amount of readers uh, you'll get and the time they'll stay on your site. Um, there is this great thing called Creative Commons, which is licenses uh, that authors attach to their works where they say, hey, you can use this image if you give me attribution. You can even use this image commercially if you give me attribution. And all of the images in this presentation are cre from Creative Commons. And uh, you can search through those images on Flickr usually. And why not create your own content? 
we needed some abstract images, and the designer we have simply took his camera, and those are the images from our office, some macros. He, he had a lot of fun one afternoon, and we had a full set of images that we needed for that specific product. Going further, so if you don't believe me that images increase amount of clicks, uh, there's Skyward study that you can um, use to, to tell your finance guy that you really need stock photography or similar. And basically, it's done even per vertical uh, how, much, how big increase of um, viewership you'll have if you continuously use images. Uh, don't worry, uh, you don't need to write stuff down. It's going to be on SlideShare, the presentation itself. So at the very end of the presentation, uh, I also need to enlighten you of what we actually do. So what does this little company from Slovenia tries to uh, give to the internet? We have created a personal writing assistant. And it's like a friend looking over your shoulder while you write, saying, hey, you're writing about Venice. Here are five great photos of Venice. Just pull it into your uh, blog post. Uh, you're writing about uh, death event. Oh, look, here are three people that wrote about it one hour ago. Do you want to link out to them? Do you want to connect with them? And it's like a personal writing assistant giving you images, links, related articles, both from big media, small media, and of course, tags, which are also important for discovery on the web by search engines. So this is how it looks like. Uh, usually, you just have um, text area where you write, but we added an assistant part. If you write something about Harry Potter, we will figure out what could be a good photography to add to your uh, article, and what might be a good links to, for example, Wikipedia to explain who this guy uh, is if your reader wants to go there. And with a single click, those gets, uh, get added to your own um, piece of content, usually a blog post. And it's a free tool, and then we do some advertising inside it as you can see there, promoted. Um, that's what we do. And it's a great tool. If you block, try it out. Well, a bit off, but. And I'm coming to an end, and here are the most important takeaways. Don't be an island. Um, it's lonely, and there is no space to grow. And it's funny saying this in this space per, in particular, which are uh, 100, 100 and some more islands. But they're not just islands. What makes Venice Venice are bridges. And you should be also building bridges to your audiences, but also to other sites, to other people in your niche, to opinion makers, continuously building those relationships. And don't be all about me, 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 you know? We hate those brands. We hate those pages that are just be me, me, me. Go out and link to others and build relationships through that. Uh, with that, I'm finishing my presentation. I'd like to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But there's one more thing. Sorry. Uh, can you? Okay, we're, we're gone. I wanted to add another slide, which is basically credits for those authors of those images. Give credit to other people where credit is due. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andres. Right. Thank you. Right on time.